Okay, Darren, uh, this short passage connects to a small oval chamber to the adjacent foyer. A shallow coal-filled pit occupies the center. Blackened urns engraved with primitive ruins line both sides of the pit. Anything interesting in here? Um... <clears throat> Rylas, uh, you do detect that one of the urns is magical. I'll uh, keep concentrating for a school, assuming Darian doesn't run in. And... It's, uh, harmless. <laughs> Well, I guess it would be, it's, it's an ever-smoking bottle. I can, right. I can give you that on your Arcana. The question is, is it valuable? Oh, very. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's your comfort at now? Getting there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm going to throw this under the uh, party sheet. And uh, the rest of the urns contain a mixture of ground bones, salt, and pesh. Lovely. More drugs. <laughs> that interesting. Okay, I guess we're going south now. Whoop, did you drop it on the party sheet? Because I don't see it on there. Unless it's really delayed. Uh, yeah, it's on the party sheet. Must be delayed. I don't see it. And I have approximately... 59 more pounds. <laughs> and then I'm capped. <laughs> So I'll throw something big and heavy at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, I take it you're going south, Darren? Uh, yeah. Well, flares, definitely. A trio of shallow alcoves line each, each side of this wide arched hallway. At the far end of the passage, overlooking everything, a huge, terrible statue of a pregnant, winged, jackal-headed woman perches upon a great stone dais. Through knowledge in the tower? Uh, Lamashu would be the religion. And uh, covered, um, as you uh, look down the hallway, you see a prayer written in abysmal, uh, and it's um, sloppily written with old blood upon the flagstones. I'll translate that. And... Uh, great is the daughter of heaven who tortures infants. Her hand is a net. Her embrace is death. She is cruel, raging, angry, and predatory. And she constantly howls like a demon doll. And Rylus, uh, da -da 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 -da. you do not detect uh, magic. I Spartan Boo kicked the statue down. Is this uh, are you going to move down to the statue first? 
Why not? <laughs> it's a tarp. Well, uh, did you move your token? Uh, I yeah, I did move the token, but I'm kind of grayed out now. Okay. I should be just below C7. I don't know what's going on. Oh, lag. There we go. I just had to drag it again. Okay, and... As you come down... Um, the two statues that are see how to parse out of the passage. Uh, the jackal statues come alive. Make sure where they're at. So I probably didn't technically get to here. Uh, correct. They are... Throw them on the map. And let's see. I don't have a picture of them. Oh. Flair beat me. <laughs> I feel disgraced. <laughs> And that's number two. I need to zoom in. Number one takes a five foot step and takes a swing at you with the scimitar. Oh, and he scored a hit. What, plus one keen scimitar? Nice. <laughs> it's going to be good for my collection. Uh, eight points of damage. Did he look? The other one has one, too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus, you are bleeding. Bleeding? Bleeding. So, that effect on you. What is that? One hit point per turn? I do believe so. Until I get a heal, and then it just stops. Right. And Rylas, you're up. All right. Let's find out something. There we go. All right. First of all, is it have more than? Does it have more than four hit dice? Yes. All right. That was ineffective. Then. You should probably ask these things before you make that attack. Well, <laughs> the attack's automated, and it's declaring the use of the spell. Yeah, so he's going to use it and then find out it won't work. That's alright, because we're going to smash these things to pieces before they can do anything. Resistance! Resistance! I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, it just means we need to start power attack.
Hey, Josh, if you want to go into the character tab, make a, a new character or something like that, and put it up there, and you can send whispers to, to other players. So if you have any questions. So far, it seems fairly self-explanatory. I'm uh, messing with the the dice thing. Katie's got the program already pulled up on her laptop and is messing around with different uh, combinations of dice and stuff and having a grand old time. Yep, you got hot bars. You can dial stuff go. at the bottom. Uh, most things you can right-click on and bring up uh, radio menus that has additional options. If only that two didn't suck, I would have double hit. I get the feeling it's going to be very difficult not to get hit by these things. <laughs> not really. I mean, they got to hit ten or better. Otherwise, they miss. That's just me. And they've kept rolling above a ten, so, I mean, it's a 50-50. See? Like I said, 50-50. That one was right on the money, dude. And you are bleeding as well. Why do you have 17 oh, AC? Boy. You should have 19. Why do you have a negative 2 armor? Ah, uh, what? You should have the same AC as me. Unless you're raging. I... I was say, I thought your base was 19. User disconnected from your channel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Someone disconnected from the TeamSpeak server. Uh oh. Darren. User joined your channel. Whoops. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> I hit the X on the TeamSpeak on accident. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to close a folder, and I didn't realize that was not the folder. Now you should have said, I meant to do that, and here's why. <laughs> and then come up with some sort of convincing reason. Well, the good news is we get cleave. Yes, indeed we can. Of course, That's if I miss, miss, it doesn't mean Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to double smack it. That's how I roll. Do I need to bring more barbarians? <laughs> Possibly. Against these puny little things. Now, our current barbarians just need DR5. That's all we need. Then these things would be only doing one or two damage, and we would kind of laugh. I apparently need to figure out why my armor rate, my that, why my AC is below what it should be. Yeah, because I thought we were mere models. The only reason why I have 17 AC is because I'm raging. No, I think you guys have different armors. I have a dragon hide breastplate. As I say, we both have breastplates. Mine's Mithril, hers is Dragon Eyed. Wow! Yeah! Wow. Not gonna hit jack shit with that. Uh, and to add insult to injury, I'm gonna give you one hit point of damage for bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got lucky. No.
Oh, running away, huh? <laughs> no, just getting out of cleave range. Oh, and he missed. You're bleeding on your own guardian? How's that physically possible? Oh, that should have <laughs> went on flare. <laughs> Do something, Rylus. <laughs> I think I think I know what the problem is. I deal with the living. These are statues. You should supposed to shatter them. There we go. When when I got the new breastplate, the um, the actual armor that my character was wearing didn't update. Oops. Yeah, you got to manually put that in. That's why. I was going to say, you should be at 19 AC normally. You get the plus one in there, because I think it was a plus one in the breastplate. Yeah, at least we're hitting. See if it won't be as ugly this time. Hey, there we go. He hit. <laughs> Wish I could roll more than minimum damage. <laughs> <laughs> And you take one more point of damage. Looks like I got healed. <laughs> Oh, it's 53, it should be 54. Right? No, it should be 53. He healed me. Rylus healed me. So, the uh, bleeding just went back on, effectively. 53, so I removed bleed from you. Well, didn't they get put back on? Oh. I don't know if that just got reapplied. Yeah, he removed it with the heel, and then it just yeah, got put it. back on. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna take it off again. <laughs> and number one attacks player and misses. Yes, run away. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, in trouble now. Rylus took a five foot step. Oh, oh, he fucked up. So that comes off of Darren. She's being very cooperative, very helpful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> PR5, I can't do anything! <laughs> <laughs> How to beat minions. Get DR5. That thing should be dead. Yeah. Yep. Cutting off its escape route. So, if my armor class was wrong earlier, then does that mean that I should that I should remove that damage that I took from that one attack? Yeah. What was your AC? Really? 
two again? Dear Lord. <laughs> Darren needs to get a few Budweiser's in him. Ah, uh, he missed him. <laughs> Have a magic missile. Have a magic missile. <laughs> <laughs> She's rooting you on, Flair. You can do it. <laughs> really? Really? There's a spot for her to get up there? Freaking pansy. <laughs> yeah, I, I said I wanted her as my apprentice. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> These two swords are going to be quite valuable. Teens have plus two <laughs> modifier, isn't it? One. Oh, it's only a one? Yeah. Anything above a two. Oh, man, a three. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thought I hit it. No, but he hit you. That's fine. I like to see him run away. I'm a bit disappointed in that role, but at least I hit him. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. The one time I forget to put power attack on, I roll an 11 for damage. But every time I apply power attack, I roll 2 for damage. <laughs> <laughs> and now you realize the true enemy, Murphy. <laughs> Rylas, I have a new quest to go on. We are going to go kill Murphy. <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> First, we need to figure out his identity. And then we have to come up with a device of plan to murder him. <laughs> All right, well, that's all you get. The wand's empty. Well, that's it. I'm healing. Oh, wrong one. You get one more. Yay! Yeah, now the heal wand's empty. Why don't we go back for one? <laughs> <laughs> Make a temporary retreat to get a wand. Check in. Surely. We're, Surely we're done. We've I think we've accomplished our goal. We can leave any time. That's true, but we can come back after we get a wand. <laughs> I have no problems with this. I'm sure we can buy 20 of them with the amount of loot I've grabbed. <laughs> I think if we want to keep exploring, our best option is to just keep going. Because, I mean, that one slaver guy sent us down here with the expectation that we were going to either be killed or turn or become slaves ourselves. So... Coming back after leaving is probably going to be a bit difficult. Or at least slightly more complicated than getting here the first time was. No, it won't. We just used the sewer. But I agree we should just keep going. And if you need a little extra AC, you can always fight defensively. 
Yay. <laughs> it's not like that's such miss... a barbarian thing to do. It's not like when you miss, you're missing only by a couple points. <laughs> yeah, the barbarian thing to do. Fight defensively. What? Th this don't make sense. What? Defense? What, what is this you defense speak you speak of? The sorcery oh, yeah. that doesn't heal your ass anymore. <laughs> because he's flat out. <laughs> and there you go. Back to what I was originally doing. I Spartan kicked that statue down. <laughs> uh, well, while you're at it, why don't you uh, make a perception check? I don't um, care if there's anything else All of there. us are just him. Uh, Darren, uh, as you are... Attempting to knock the statue down, it's rocking back and forth. Uh, you notice there's a small hidden chamber. Even more reason the Spartan kick it down. Oh, and I do grab those two keen scimitars. And I hand them to her and say, <laughs> make yourself useful. These things will actually hurt something if you hit them. You're handing it to Thien? Yeah, the two plus one keen scimitars. And I do say I want them back. <laughs> no, no. I, I will hold on to those. There's no need to burden her. She has been through a lot. I'll take the scimitars. <laughs> I don't want the main boss having scimitars when we get into the fight. <laughs> Uh, too funny. Those are keen, they hurt. And I'm already at a medium load, so I don't care. <laughs> okay. Guess you're gonna go south? Yep. And... And C-17. Okay. Uh, the statue finally falls over. You see the hidden passageway and you can move down into the hallway just below C8. Well, the golden rule's left. <laughs> and uh, why doesn't everybody make a uh, perception check? I'd love to make a perception check, but I'll probably just fail. So when you roll a die, do you have to assign what it's for in any particular way, or do you just roll the die and then add your abilities in your head and then call out what um, it is? No, if you open, if you double click your spectator sheet, you'll open up your natural character sheet, and there's on the second tab it's called skills, and that will list all your skills in there. There are multiple ways to do things in this program, but the easiest way of what we're doing is to go to the skills tab. I'm sure that's what Rylus is using. That or he's using a hotkey. I have a hotbard. Um, if anywhere you see that little red box, it's got a symbol of a dragon, but you can't tell what it is. So the, white, the red box of the white dragon, those are links. You can drag them to places. Sometimes you can drag them as rolls. You put them in the, the chat window is also your dice box. That's where rolls work. In the bottom right-hand corner, there's a brown tower. That's a DM's tower. You roll, uh, you drag rolls into there and only the GM can see them. That way if you know that way it kinda keeps things hidden whether you pass or fail. Because you shouldn't know the result of your fortitude save to know if you're poisoned or not. You'll just kinda figure it out as you go. The videos I'm gonna give you after this will have all the information on how to do stuff in this. You as wouldn't happen as, to as have as a GM's video. Because um, I was going to say, I want a DM, but I'm struggling on the DM aspect. I was going to ask Mr. Uh, Wintermute here if he had a spare day off to uh, kind of give me a tutorial. Uh, yeah, just send me an email and we can choose a day and, and go through it. Yeah, I'm slowly figuring things out. I think the biggest thing is the combat tracker. I'm having difficulties. I mean, I drag stuff on there, but it doesn't really look like it's actually linked. I don't know if I'm doing something incorrectly. It's probably not. Yeah. Uh, you're supposed to drag them into combat encounters and then hit a button to load the encounter into the combat tracker, and it creates all the proper links. Probably. That's I will draw out links to Delix Oz's video series. He does have some for GMing. Oh, yeah. He I, is I, a I veteran. Do. I'm already listening to him. <laughs> so, his YouTube channel. 
I'm already through A. I'm listening to B series now. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about him is he puts me to sleep. He is he, very slow, yes. He's but... a very droning professor voice that reminds me of college five years ago. It's like, oh my it's god. because he is a college professor. <laughs> oh god, no wonder. No wonder I'm sitting here in my office chair. But every now and then, he's got tidbits that are really, really good and helpful. Um, oh, there yeah, are other video incredibly. sets. Oh, yeah, they're incredibly useful. I learned all the slash commands because of him. That was, of course, like four months ago. But, yeah. Okay, guys, you come out into a hallway. You can go uh, east, west, or south. And I kind of figured that. And down the hall, it comes to an intersection. Well, we know the rules of this. Left! <laughs> you see, I trained my barbarians well. <laughs> and you see a long corridor yeah. with... Uh -oh. Gotta go consult Rylus. There's two lefts. Do we take the first <laughs> left or the second left? You take the closest left that you can get to. Okay. First and when left. that is dealt with, you take your next left. <laughs> All right. Open that door <laughs> to the left. Oh, it's got two num two letters. Okay. Uh, these are rooms for the cultist. Each chamber is carved from the surrounding earth, and they're sparsely furnished. Uh, each cell contains only a sleeping pallet with a dirty camel-haired blanket, a few wall pegs, a clay water basin, and a chamber pot. Uh, most contain some scattered refuse, such as gnawed bones or broken bottles. Mage's room might be something magical. Magic detector. Move forward a bit. I must get through the door. Can you step aside? <laughs> oh, this is the perfect opportunity for someone to come around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please move your barbarian ass? <laughs> and, Rylus, you do not detect anything. And nothing valuable, I'm assuming. Correct. The description. Yep. Next left. If it is not magical, then it is not valuable. Okay. Oh, a, hey, masterwork stuff sells for at least 400 gold almost. <laughs> if you wish. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, this room is uh, pretty much the same. And just for the sake of simplicity, uh, the other two rooms, uh, one is uh, fairly larger. And let's see, Rylus. Ah, uh, yes, you do detect magic in that room. Which one? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, C sixteen. Alrighty. What do we find, Rylus? What do we find? I will continue to uh, concentrate to get the spell school. Uh, I have no idea what school that's in. <laughs> We can just say he does a spell card check to figure it out. Uh, yeah, because it's a ring of substance. Oh, another one. If you find, <laughs> if you find it in the room. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think tra transmutation. Got it. I was going to say, I was about ready to say that because I have the same ring on. Okay. 
Do you ever want to go hunting again? <laughs> uh, as you go into this room, um, you notice on one of the pegs hangs a set of keys. On another one, there is a sloppily looped cotton bandage, heavily stained with blood. And scrawled across the walls are dozens of hateful triads, murderous threats, and violent fantasies, all directed against Whispershade and various other leaders of the Twilight Talons. The writings blame these individuals for manipulating personal freedom in the guise of saving it. And the, the writings extol, extol the punishments of Lamashtu and describe some of the awakening or rebirth. This organization just sounds like an incompetent Rylus. <laughs> Yes, yes, it is a very bad group of slavers. I agree. <laughs> I take the keys. Oh, they're a really bad group of slavers. I mean, let's think about it. They let three men walk into their base and destroy everyone. There is one woman. Okay, sorry. Two, two men and a woman. Sorry. Don't, don't let the wolf fools fool you. It is a woman over there. <laughs> okay, uh, Rylus, um... Uh, beneath some old blankets, you uncover a ring, and nobody has nobility, do they? Nope. Uh, yeah. Barbarian? <laughs> <laughs> do I need to remind you of this? <laughs> no, it's just not for our group. It's just. Uh, well, that was kind of directed at Rylus. <laughs> Rylus only has the knowledge is needed for his prestige. <laughs> this does not involve nobility. But it, it's a very beautiful ring, and it looks like some sort of uh, honorific ring. You know, the, uh, like maybe a knight or something would, you know, would have bestowed upon them. Nice, I'll put it on. I'll go good with my crown. <laughs> <laughs> We just need one more. Then our group doesn't need to eat or drink. <laughs> and... I turn to Darren. You know, this area of rooms would make a good place to fortify and stay the night, get some rest. We could pull all of the slaves and sec section them off, keep them safe. That won't be too bad of an idea. We can kind of sit in the hallway. I mean, if something does come, we just have to fight things one at a time. We'd never really be outnumbered. I mean, I'm still good for a go. I mean, I mean, I have fairly good health. I'm sure we could take one or two more battles before we red definitely need to call it a night. Yes, but we might not find a good spot after one or two more battles. This is a superior location. We should rest now while we can. All right. I'm fine with it. I'll go keep guard. I don't require sleep or food. <laughs> Darian st stands like an English guard right here. <laughs> you still need two hours sleep. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll just trade off for two hours. <laughs> so, Darian all right. doesn't need sleep. He just needs subtle meditation. <laughs> right? We'll funnel all of the slaves in. Males go to C-15A. Females go to C-16. Set up guard between C-15B and C-15C. Basically, I'm going to stand there. So If something's going to come down the hall, they would have to bull rush past me. We're guarding both directions, so if anybody in the slaves tries to get out, they're not getting out. If anybody from the dungeon tries to get in, they're not getting in. Oh, is it that cute? Flare and the uh, NPC are in one room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Happy. Something you need to tell us there, Flare? <laughs> okay. What, this you can follow directions? <laughs> Uh, so you're going to take a full overnight rest. 
Uh, and if it works. Like it. If something does come by the hallway, I'd brutally murder it before it gets away. <laughs> Hi, I'm a Celestial Archon, here to rescue all of you. <laughs> you know this party very well, you've only been here one time. <laughs> Create him a character. In fact, give him the NPC, he might be useful. <laughs> Fits right in. Uh, if you double-click that O token, you can actually pull up an NPC's character sheet. Now, it looks like an NPC, that's not what a player's character sheet looks like, but... Oh, most of the neat. stuff you hover over, you can, like, stuff you directly use, like skills, you can hover over and it'll actually highlight it as usable as a link. Cool. Oh, wow. That's pretty neat. And that's only yeah, because that's she's nice. friendly, right? Yeah. It's only if they're friendly. Yeah, that's that. She's only level 7? Why are we so much freaking more powerful than her? <sighs> Because she's NBC, not particularly cooperative. <laughs> okay, the night goes by without incident. Oh man, I'd be freaking destroying people with her. I... Especially with Rylus in the group. She has combat expertise. I mean, oh, yeah. That goes so good with Rylus' skill set. <laughs> Get an attack of opportunity. Get another attack of opportunity. No, it's Take combat another. reflexes. Expertise is a defensive. <laughs> it's an offensive style. That's right. I always get the two freaking mixed up. Yeah, Rylus's whole point is we flank somebody, and then he just tells them to walk over to me, and then he commands them to go away. <laughs> so we get attacks of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, Rylus is a crowd control caster. <laughs> okay. She has improved trip. She'd be a lot better off if she was trying to do some crowd control herself. Oh, in narrow corridors, this is going to be a particularly easy fight. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got all my spells back. That was the biggest <laughs> mistake ever. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Technically, we just need a four-hour break for Vilas to get his spells back, don't we? He just needs to take an overwrite and rest, which uh, requires no, two hours eight of hours. sleep. No, you got a ring pal. You need two hours of sleep and then one Doesn't hour matter. to prepare your spells. Spell casting it requires eight hours of rest. Doesn't matter if you sleep or not. Aww. Okay. You are up, Darren. Or what are we gonna do? Well, obviously, we're gonna take a left. <laughs> And you see a car door, and down the hallway, you see a... Please say that's a statue. Ah, uh, yes, there is a metal statue at the end of the hallway. Darren needs some warm-up swing for the morning. <laughs> I'm looking down these other corridors. And you see a door there. Quick check, is it locked? To try to gently turn the handle? Uh, yes, it is locked. Good. Barbarian key? <laughs> Maybe later. It was not the left yet. <laughs> so, I destroyed the statue, I'm guessing. Um, <clears throat> okay, as you approach the statue, uh, uh, you're doing slight damage to it, and while you're hitting it, um, you notice a small hollow that's, uh, hidden behind, um, uh, the inside of the statue appears to be hollow. And you can see through part of the damage where you hit that it is indeed hollow inside. Well, we gotta figure out what's on the inside of this statue then. Shop <laughs> Creamy Nougat Center. <laughs> so what is your axe's perception bonus? Perception bonus? Because your axe is finding all of the secrets. 
Hey, it's got a mind of its own. I call it the barbarian <laughs> key for a reason. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you open up a small or larger hole, and inside the statue, um, you see a humoculus. And as soon as it sees you, uh, it demands, have you brought me my offering? Not yet. I have an offering. <laughs> <laughs> Is it flat-footed? <laughs> I'm gonna throw a token on there for me. <laughs> uh, oh, then why are you disturbing me if you haven't brought me my offering? Here's your offering. Well, then. <laughs> it is a good thing that that creature does not know anything about this place. It could have been very useful <laughs> if it had known something about this place. <laughs> it asked for an offering. I offered it my axe. <laughs> Perhaps if you were to tone down your generosity just a little bit. Oh, not everyone deserves an ass kicking in here. It isn't even alive! It is a creation! Hey, you got a spell, make it all! <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I will try. I don't even know why I bothered putting it on the combat tracker. <laughs> <laughs> so he could target it? Darren, roll a perception check. I need a second to monitor so badly. <laughs> and you notice that there is a key um, hanging on a cord around its neck. See? Barbarian key. I found key. <laughs> Lucky you didn't smash the key into bits. <laughs> That I could have mended. <laughs> <laughs> and just think, this is the guy that wants to be our healer in Wrath. <laughs> oh, come on. I can roleplay. <laughs> and I think I'm doing a damn good job of a dumb barbarian. <laughs> Swing first, ask questions later. I collect everything in sight because the more shinies I get, the bigger acts I get. <laughs> It's okay, he's almost at a heavy load. He's carrying like 20 weapons. So uh, like, he'll, he'll be able to have to stop soon. <laughs> he'll have to stop soon. <laughs> I'll kindly ask Claire to carry some. Alright, so what do we see down in the hallway? Um. I think Wednesday nights will be interesting now. <laughs> Yes, interesting could be good or bad. It's a, it's a very neutral word. Okay, you see a long hallway. Alrighty, a long hallway. They apparently uh, had no traps. Open. Nothing could possibly go wrong. There's a reason I can carry two barbarians with me, just in case one fails. <laughs> Okay, uh, this door is locked, but you do I'll see a keyhole. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll use the key. <laughs> um. He hates it because if I can't figure out how to get past the locked door, I just smash the door in. <laughs> um, everybody needs to make a reflex save. 
Don't wait for that. <laughs> Too many straight corridors leading to doors. I knew it was coming. It's like Rylus is getting a chicken dinner. I and feel like that ball failed. <laughs> I eat it. On the bright side, I it's technically a seven. I forgot my trap sense. Uh, okay, let's see. I was going to say, if armor makes any difference, I will have a 20 on this because trap sets. And Darren, you take 30 points of damage from a lightning bolt. Everyone. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, now you're starting to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> and come on, add that. And I assume uh, we save for half? 30, 40, uh, yes. Yeah. Not that I want to buzz kill you, but you actually did 15 damage, not 10 damage to Rallis. <laughs> yeah, but I only took 10 because... Uh, oh, resistance. you have energy resistance. Freaking out. <laughs> Okay, uh, Darren, you're a little bit crispy, but there's no more lightning shooting out the door. <laughs> well, just because you did that. <laughs> now it's just on Jim. I use my barbarian key. <laughs> <laughs> um... Now you're getting it. <laughs> yeah, that was too that was too good of a trap not to use. <laughs> there was actually This is why I don't use keys, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the door is open. And three rectangular shallow pools divide this wide chamber. A short flight of steps in the northern half of the room climbs to a narrow alcove, atop which rests a sarcophagus sculpted from the black basalt. Carved from the surrounding stone, the entire chamber is engraved with primitive ruins. And within this room... Uh, the box? <laughs> And let me drag it over here and share it. Uh, you see this uh, deformed human with gnoll-like features, a, hideous, a hideously scarred belly, and blackened wings. Um... As you enter the crypt, let's add her to the combat tracker. Oh yeah, we have to tell our spectator, we had a uh, pet uh, cockatrice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why did we have to tell our spectator that? Okay. Right. that because maybe fun. you can actually, you know, get a pet on Kazu by you being very diplomatic. <laughs> uh, I could, but I don't think I need diplomacy for that. Just need a good knowledge check. Okay, um... Uh, she challenges you as you enter the room, and she is throwing damnations in your general direction and you know Europe you and all your spawn are going to witness the wrath of Lamash too. Her picture makes her look kinda of like transparent and floating. Is she looking like a ghost or is she just yeah. is that just bad artwork? I was gonna say am I gonna have to put uh, concealment on? 
Uh, yes, she is looking like a ghost. If you do not leave, I shall punch you a second time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I pull up my rod. You do it, you bastard. <laughs> There's Darren's response. And you want to roll your initiative there, Darren? I'm sorry. There we go. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Darren has to have first blood. It's the rules. <laughs> okay, round one of a new day. Darren smash. That is stair, so charging is out of the question. Concealment. Oh no, total concealment, right? No, no, it depends. If she's incorporeal, it should be on her her side. It is set to that, and you'll automatically do it. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it. Good. It's a miss. It's not a miss chance in Pathfinder. It's just half damage. Provided you have a magic weapon, right? Otherwise, it's no yeah. damage. Oh yeah, we we all have magic weapons. We're of like seven levels. I'm not right. sure that was the first thing we upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Man, trades a bunch of shiny coins so I can beat the shit out of ghosts too. <laughs> so you're not protected in the afterlife either. <laughs> Fortunately, we couldn't sell his ego. Could have got a king's ransom if we could. Who would buy it? Exactly. Another barbarian. That's just <laughs> what you need. Two barbarians for the price of one. <laughs> thought that's what I had. <laughs> no, you have to actually pay them both. Unless you're that sneaky. I'm not paying them a thing. They're not smart. <laughs> I was going to say, you don't have to pay them. You just promise them beer and freaking fighting. <laughs> and I'm, the beer's I'm illusion. smarter than the average bear. <laughs> yes, Flair's the level-headed one, the sensible one that I keep around. As exhilarating when Darren kills himself. I'm the dumb one, but the stronger one. Which one's the pretty one? Oh, that's me. Fun. I was going to say, I have a seven girls, but... <laughs> it's my wife. She's a kobold. <laughs> yeah, Flair wins the beauty contest, hands down. Rylus has so many spells, oh, he can't turn. decide. <laughs> I didn't know it was my turn. It didn't ding for me. I pulled out my rod. <laughs> She said no. <laughs> that is... You got denied so hard right there. It's just my rulings. Is that awesome? <laughs> and... Let's see... Darren, she reaches out and touches you. Attempts to touch me? Attempts. I have a bad feeling about this. Bad touch, bad touch. Uh, yeah, bad touch with uh, both hands. Don't forget, she's got the maiden minus four as well. Cover. <laughs> um, actually, if she's in corporeal, she doesn't. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's right. Stupid ghost. And she hit you twice. Bad touch. Bad touch. 
Actually, no, uh, I rolled the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, the Falchion's not a touch. Yeah. So, I'm going to try this again. And I was going to say, if that was a, an actual hit hit, uh, those didn't hit. Yeah, that was a hit hit. That barely hit. <laughs> okay, that's a touch. Okay. And can you make a uh, fortitude save? Fortitude on a barbarian? All right. 17, hopefully we got a chicken dinner. <laughs> and... You did not make it, and you take 37 points of damage. Wowzers. So that's 77. <laughs> This is why I wanted to rest. <laughs> and Othene comes up and takes a swing at Rylus. <laughs> <laughs> About what I expected. And hits Rylus. Oh shit. And she's going hostile. But she doesn't oh. have a foul, uh, keen scimitar. <clears throat> yeah, I was hoping you weren't going to catch that. <laughs> Let's see. Well, we're definitely going to take my full... Critical hit! Oh, did I get it? Oh, I got a critical hit effect, too. <laughs> Ooh, nice one. Messing up your bosses. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Uh, mighty Blow. You do three standard critical hits to the target. Uh, three? <laughs> Is it going to survive this? <laughs> So I just do two more attacks, hold down shift? Yep. Yeah. Then we'll have to edit these critical hit tables. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I didn't want to use those. <laughs> Darren Smash! <laughs> and I point to her, you! <laughs> I point to the NPC. <laughs> There you go. Something about a wounded animal, I think I want to be right away. <laughs> Don't kill her yet. <laughs> Fine, I won't power attack. <laughs> she is kind of weak, remember? <laughs> Guess how many Darian <laughs> He has five hit points left. <laughs> Are you raging right now? Yes. <laughs> Darian uh, is raging. Don't did you update your hit points for your rage? Uh no I have not, so I still have some hit points, but not much. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Man. Okay. Two times what are we, level six? No, it's yeah. only one times. You're gonna get one hit point per level. Oh, I'm sorry, Rage is four. Yeah, two hit yeah. points per level, so you get 12 more hit points. So I have 17, but still, this is the closest <laughs> Darren has come to dying. He is not happy. <laughs> yeah, well, don't pick, a, don't pick a fight with a ghost. Hey, you saw what happened to the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> you done, Flair? Yeah, sorry. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can misfortune her. There you go. Do that again. 
No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is her? Oh, she was seven minus six is uh, one. She's a one-hit die creature. So yeah, she's out. Now it's the dead thing's turn. <laughs> I wonder what the ghost had to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's so uh, much. The ghost took uh, 200 damage on this uh, in one round. The ghost is going to have the last laugh. <laughs> She's going to explode. <laughs> She's going to reform right where she was. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you have defeated the ghost, and, um... I did 208 damage to her. So, Fair. we're still technically in rounds because of the spell. Oh, Darian doesn't want to kill her yet. I use my action to tie her up. <laughs> <laughs> and disarm her. Um, and I'm, I'm sure Rylus got there with the sword. I'm sure he doesn't want to give her an easy death either. I don't care. <laughs> what she did was expected. Just these things happen. Can I hear her beg? So on the party sheet, there's an alchemist, I believe, Andov. Is that just somebody that's not here tonight? They quit. <laughs> uh... You, you, those typical one and gunners. Hence like the reason we're looking for more players. players. Absolutely. We weren't normal enough for him. <laughs> he couldn't stand the barbarian twins. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, <clears throat> so she's disarmed and hogtied throw her in a corner <laughs> and wait for her to wake up. <laughs> okay. And what do you want to do while she's waking up? Oh, I just want to hear this wonderful explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to loot her body. <laughs> Look for shinies. He took her weapon away. What else is she got on her? <laughs> oh, I looted. Yeah, I was going to say. Anything about is gone. Okay. Um... Okay, she starts to come awake. I just stare at her silently. <laughs> I'm waiting for an explanation. And she's, she's got, got two barbarians standing over her. <laughs> well, she's tied up on the floor. <laughs> she's like, sorry guys, but, you know, it was expected. <laughs> it was expected. You do realize you know what happened. Uh, it, she's. Doesn't she have a real explanation? Uh, yes, she is. Uh, I'm assuming some begging is coming in the, uh, in the play as well. And she's like. It's already in the tower. Uh, <laughs> and. You stabbed Rylus, but he's like a robot, so he doesn't really give a shit. He just wants to see you probably die. But I'm more interested to know why. I do not wish to see her die. It was my duty to bring her back. We will bring her back. If she is a traitor, we will tell them that she is a traitor and they can deal with her. They're Endor and they have ways. Uh, she... Endor, they all stab us in the back and we just kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darian likes this plan. Uh, Darian likes Flair's plan. <laughs> uh, she looks up at you and says, uh, I'm sorry that I attacked you, Rylus, but I, I, among several other people, I've been under control of this priestess. And with the barbarians engaged, uh, it seemed like the best time to start killing everyone in the party. 
I agree. That would have been a good time to do it. But you needed to do it more effectively. Uh, I rolled a sense motive in the tower for seeing if she is no longer under compulsion. Um, she is no longer under compulsion. And she is quite tore up about... Uh, she's talking about some of the things that she's been forced to... Or, you know, commanded to do and so forth. And... She's just in shock and horror of what she's done over the past few weeks. She was in the tunnel investigating the uh, the slave ring, and she got captured. And from there, it's just all but memory fragments. It's all a haze. But she knows she's done very horrible things. This is to be expected when you're under the control of another... It can be made right. It will take some time and some doing. You must first be returned to your people. But to assure your safety, and the safety of the others, I wish to cast a spell on you to get us back to the surface. You will accept this spell. It's not like she has choice in this matter. <laughs> she does. Um, she has to voluntarily refuse a saving throw. That's true. Uh, what spell are you going to cast? A spell that will prevent you from doing things against your will to us again. You're going to sleep. <laughs> okay, I'll, I will agree. <laughs> I... That's funny. <laughs> she is yes, now my friend. Master. <laughs> uh, hey, Rylas. Uh, would you roll a percentile in the tower? Percentile in the tower. Thank you. Uh, okay, guys, what now? She's, uh, well under, uh, Rylus's charm spell. So... Is she safe? Or I should say docile? Yeah, she's safe and docile. I was asking Ryan. No. <laughs> she, she is fine. She, you can tell immediately. She's very friendly towards me. She's not asleep at all. It's a charm spell. Yeah. Okay. She will be just fine. Othene, if you could be so kind as to help me with these slaves, we need to get them out of here now. Uh, yes, Rylus. I would be more than happy to assist you in whatever manner I can. Are you able to handle locks? There is a locked door down the hall that we need to have opened. Uh, For this last locked experience, I think we should just use my key. <laughs> um, yes, I should be able to help you with that. You want to change your back to uh, friendly in the combat tracker? <laughs> she is. <laughs> No, nah, I'm gonna go neutral. <laughs> I mean, she only stabbed him once. Oh, you might want to take those conditions off, so in case we get into any fights, she's not completely destroyed. <laughs> if Rowan says it's okay, I undo the ropes. Charmed and bound. That, that's the start of a problematic scene. <laughs> I was going to say, it just sounds like an anime hero. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a fun night to me. Uh. <laughs> uh, Darren walks down the hall, happy. He had a good beating, and he beat down the opponent. All he doesn't right realize he's at half-life. <laughs> I was almost dead. All is right in the world. <laughs> Oh, God, you guys can so run an adventure. <laughs> hey, I thought my favorite adventure I ruined was using the animantine glove to skip straight to your boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> How unfortunate no. for the GM that it was the only boss in any module that was a plant that couldn't move away. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
or engage in a fight. Otherwise, we probably would have died there. Um, Darren, you just walked out of a room. You you killed a creature and you walk out of a room. We looted. <laughs> I threw a perception in the thing, yeah, I, I said I was looting. Oh, I thought you were just looting a thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, looting in general. Sorry. I'll, I'll clarify my targets. <laughs> well, um, up at the sarcophagus, um, <clears throat> yes, Rylas, uh, if you're casting it at the sarcophagus, yes, you do detect magic. Well, I expect as much. <laughs> what he wants to know is what it does. And what does Orthreen's ring do? Uh, and I'll go back to my position around the corner. If Darren wants to come back up here and open the sarcophagus. <laughs> yep. Sarcophagus open. Um, okay. Um, roller perception check. Uh, it, the sarcophagus is empty. Well, duh. Duh. <laughs> uh, Darren, you notice a false bottom to the sarcophagus. I say, oh, and please, and I open it up. He's still well. Um, underneath the false bottom, uh, you see the priestess's real remains are sealed within an alabaster amphoria uh, hidden below the, beneath the sarcophagus. Um, and... Um, Rylus, why don't you uh, roll a... Perception check as well. Player, you want to roll one? <laughs> Still doing my detect magic. <laughs> if I can get a spell school. Um. Aaron's gonna get his socks blown off. Uh, transmutation. Oh, please be a belt of strength. Aaron's <laughs> Christmas present. Okay, uh, Rylus and Flair, you see this look that Darren's never had on his face. And it is complete and utter confusion. <laughs> That's all the time. How is this different? I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, Darren, you are looking at all of this treasure that is contained inside this sarcophagus, wondering how in the hell you are going to carry it. I just pick up the sarcophagus. <laughs> what are you talking Why, we're about? Going, we're going back. <coughs> uh, we have at least 12 slaves. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're gonna pocket some of this. Mine! Oh, mine! <laughs> Alright, we need to change Darren to neutral. <laughs> I am chaotic neutral. <laughs> I never said I was good. Um, apparently I forgot to do... I'm the chaotic good one. I forgot to do the treasure parcel for this one, so I'm gonna paste it so you all can see what you're getting. Athene just had her ring in a short sword. Or, I mean, a long, masterwork long sword. Yes. Alright, I'll dump that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> I've seen a lot of low-weight uh, jewelries. I like this. Oh, I see circle it. A circle of persuasion. I wonder who wants that. <laughs> who wants that? <laughs> Give it to Darren. <laughs> <laughs> you will open, or I'll open you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I drink the cure moderate wounds unless you have more of those spells. <laughs> I do. I'm not casting them. Okay. <laughs> I'll just use that potion. You can walk the rest off. I'll drink that potion. Wait, cure there's moderate war pains in there. I haven't finished. Two D eight plus three for cure moderate. Uh, yes. Um, as far as looking for new players, that's going to be when you start the next module, correct? Is it just one person you're looking for, or possibly more? Um, yeah, we can do two more, I guess. No problem. Well, Katie's interested. If you, it, we'd need to get her a microphone. But other than that, if she be, if you guys would be willing, she'd be willing to join in. No problem here. No problem here. Yeah. Save us the problem of looking. Uh, we could really benefit from an actual female in the group besides Flair. <laughs> yeah. I don't count as an actual female. <laughs> nope. Uh, so I'll do the treasure parcel on this before we get done. And what the GM means is someone with actual compassion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she's, she's I have that. compassion. <laughs> Why does that sound like a red versus blue response? Uh, yeah, she's <laughs> compassionate. <laughs> uh, I've just gotten into uh, that series, and I'm through the first five, and it's hilarious. Nice. Have you got the text? Yeah, I sure have. I myself, okay, yeah. <laughs> They're on your freaking 12th season. It's ridiculous how good that show is actually <laughs> gone. Nope. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about the uh, potion of cure moderate wounds. I drank that. <laughs> uh, no problem. Okay. Uh, where to now, guys? The locked door. I got new war paint. Yay. Whoop. Uh, you're violating your rule. We didn't go down the hallway. That's clearly the first left. <laughs> I didn't say you. I asked Othene to open the door. <laughs> you volunteered to, to uh, disrupt the flow and, and go break down the door. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Just don't give adamantine weapons at low. Is it level 2? <laughs> <laughs> that module was a bit extreme in the... Uh, yeah, I was say, that, that was ridiculous, giving me an anime gauntlet. <laughs> See, what my crown was... <laughs> I forget, my crown was, uh... Oh. 15,000 gold value. Okay, um, she looks at you and says, um... This is the priestess's chamber. Oh my gosh, I just gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to give it away. I wanted to, to show it. Hey, can you drag that back onto my portrait in the upper left-hand corner? Keep it. Keep it. Don't give it back. <laughs> I mean, you can look at it first. I got that in, like, the, the first adventure. Hi, uh, him or me? Level two. Drag it. Uh, spectator cam. No, you... Open up your inventory. You should have one item in your inventory, and there's a red link on the right-hand side. Grab that link and drag it on top of my portrait in the left-hand corner. On top of the Rylas portrait? On top of the Rylas portrait. Yep. That's how you get items to each other, by the way. There, you, yeah, you gave them back. Thank you. Did you look at it? No. Actually, I didn't. I just... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Now you can click on the link and open and look at it. Unable to create window with data source. Yeah, I got the same there. Interesting. All right. I think it's because we're having all these communication problems, and I think uh, because I'm messing around with fantasy grounds. Because uh, that was one thing I was going to ask, because you know those dragon symbols? Yeah. I don't have that on mine. I have a gray circle and a slightly darker gray circle when something's filled in there. Wow. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I was going to say. It fills in there. 
you can put something in there, like if I drag and drop a feed in there, like point blank range, it pulls everything from the module from the module library into there, but it doesn't have the symbol. You have the gray square, 